This is WPTV. Gotta tame them all? Yeah, that's right, you heard me, tame. Today we're getting our first look at the Pokemon doppelganger, Temtem. Temtem is a new MMORPG developed by Crema. This game has been getting a lot of buzz lately due to its insanely close relation to the Pokemon series. Will it live up to a big competitor or will it fall short? Let's find out. Today I'm joined by Ben discuss, to discuss everything you need to know about this game. Uh, ben, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Okay, so explain to me what this game is. Alright, so right now obviously we can see the title screen right here. Temtem. Um, it's exactly like Pokemon. Oh wow. Those, I mean, they look exactly like it. It's literally just like a recreation of Pokemon. Uh, you have these different creatures called Temtem, which mind you, let me just say, I think is a really dumb name. I, d I hate saying Temtem, I feel like I'm four when I say it. <laughs> but anyway, um, you have this right here. Here's my character, and you can always take a look at them just like you can in Pokemon. Um, you have what's called a tamer. You're the tamer. Now you don't catch these Temtem. You tame them, and really, when you think about it, it's just a, a made-up version, like a redesigned version of Pokemon, changing all the names to format it to something that's new. Okay. And uh, I start off by just saying how beautiful it looks. Like, it does look really good. I really like the cartoon aspect that it has to it, um, and the 3D models are very beautiful, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's really well done in terms of how it looks. These are what's called the Temtem. Uh, this is one of the starters right here that you start off with. You, that again... Looks just like a Sinnoh starter. You, you, you start off with grass, fire, water. Like, wow. you have three options. You get... And if I might say, too, it's even worse than it was in, in Pokemon, where, you know, there's a little bit of a story, you hear some things first, and no, this one, they take that out, you wake up, and your mom says, go to the lab, and then you get one, and that's it. Okay, what similarities does this share with Pokemon? A lot. Like, aside from the creatures that we just talked about, like, having it be like that, you have tall grass. Tall grass you walk around in, nothing's there, and then you walk around enough, and then all of a sudden you'll run into a battle. Is that a Pokemon trainer right there? Yeah. Uh, Temtem? Yeah, the, the, the Temtem Tamer, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. Not, <laughs> see, it's just so resembl like resembles it so much that you just think Pokemon. Here, let's see if we can enter a battle. Yeah, you walk in here. They even actually have text that goes on there, and you oh. have to respond to that too. So it is something that I kind of like more than Pokemon, where you would just kind of, they would say something and you would go right into it. It's more of an RPG feel to it. Exactly. You, you say whether you want to do it or not. I don't really think I've encountered one where you don't do the battle, but you know. Uh, you just keep talking to these people, and you know they'll offer a battle eventually. And okay. well, let's then try it for a battle. Let's see. Uh, Show me what you have learned. There we go. That's probably it. There we let's go. Let's tempt him up. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? I, 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 I don't know where they come up with these things. Like they're trying to just add a lot of new things and make it how Pokemon has. So instead of Pokeballs, it looks like the. Temtems are inside of these cards. They're, is they're cards, yeah. Th um, you have in your bag these Tem cards. That's what you do to catch them. And, uh, you know, bombs to heal them, apples to heal them, other things. It's just, it's just a redesigned version. You have these stamina bars here that each of them have, along with, you know, their level and their health right here that that decides what moves you can use. You have this little number right here, and when you hover over it, you see the little blinking right there. Oh yeah. And then you actually have to select it, which you can also select your own. Okay, that's very similar to Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's similar to a doubles, uh, doubles battle. Uh, the thing about this is that there are only doubles battle. Um, okay. I don't like that at all. Uh, I think they are trying something new and trying to give that like, oh, it's, more dynamic than what Pokemon is, or more dynamic of a game itself, but really, it's just like a simpler, a simplified version. I mean, I, it adds a uh, new way to play it because of that whole stamina system, and if you use too much of it, you hurt yourself. 
Okay, so instead of the PP for each move, like Pokemon has, this one's stamina, and each move yeah. will use up different stamina. Exactly. So it's just stamina, and once you use too much of it, you can actually like faint or kill the Temtem. And I, it costed me a battle once, and you know I don't like that. Now you said kill. Do the Temtem ever permanently die, or they don't? But you know, that's just what people say. Yeah. You know, you know, who who wants to say they fainted or you know they're no longer in battle? Yeah, you know? it's just easier to say they died because you know that's just what it looks like. So if someone wanted to get this game, how much would it run them? So currently it's thirty-five dollars, and it's only on Steam. It is early access. So it's still, it's, uh, I believe the developers have even said it's only halfway through of oh. what the game's full uh, potential? potential is gonna be. Yeah, what the full game is gonna be, this is half of it. Um, they also mentioned that the prices of that will keep going up as more updates come. So if you wanted to get it, you should get it Ex now. Exactly, if you wanted to try it out, you had any slight interest in it at all, I would suggest getting it now before that price goes up. I can see it probably getting anywhere up to those 60 price games. Um, so yeah. I would definitely look into it. Now, does this only run on the computer? Can I get it on, let's say, my Switch at all, or? Eventually, I believe they're going to be going towards Switch, but as it's in early access, they only have it on Steam uh, and on the computer. I guess it's much simpler, because, I mean, this is an MMO. You see, it's the MMO version of Pokemon. You see people walking around as you're uh, as you're walking through every, every area yourself. Um, and with that aspect comes servers. So in order to run this game, you need servers to run it. And that costs money. So the likelihood of this remaining just a single purchase game is very slim. So you think that they're gonna just start charging monthly for it? Oh yeah. Oh. I, I, I would be very surprised if they didn't. And here's one of those random encounters that you would come across. Oh, I like that graphic. Yeah, I mean, it, it visually looks really well. There's a lot of customization with your character. Uh, l later on, you get different costumes, different things, very cosmetic. Um, and, you know, this right here is just another example of what they did with it. But it's, it looks beautiful, but it's static. You know, we're in an era where when you are playing these games, there's constant motion. They have camera angles, switching of that and it's just not doing that. Um, so here I'll show an example of catching one of them. Um, so you'll use that. Now you still have your other turn with this. You can attack, you can run, do whatever you want. Uh, I'll, I'll do a bomb, I'll heal <laughs> someone. You know, why not? Why not? So in your opinion, is this game worth it? Would you recommend it? It's early, it's still really early. And I think that it could have potential if they fix certain things. Um, I recommend it to try out. I say it's worth the $35 and it has a lot of playability, but we'll have to keep, uh, keep an eye on it to see what happens with it in the future. Yeah, well it looks like a great game, uh, at least something to try out, see where it goes. I'm excited to hear more about it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, unfortunately we'll have to stop here. I've certainly had my fair share of deja vu with this game as Temtem developers. Uh, I know the game gaming community will be keeping an eye on this one to see if it will ever come close to the popularity of Pokemon. Leave a comment on what you think of Temtem. Uh, thank you Ben for joining me today and tune in next time to Press Start.